Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and in this video, I have a group of girls who are going to tell us what is important when first meeting a guy, what are some of the first things they notice. I'm gonna give them 15 different physical attributes or things that you might notice about a guy upon first meeting him, and they're going to tell you if it's important, if it's not, if they care about it, if they don't, and they're also gonna tell you the number one thing that they notice first in a guy when they're first meeting them. So if you're interested in that, let's get started. Number one is arms love that i don't know what it is about arms but when a guy has like toned arms and definition to his arms immediately attracted i don't care <laughs> love it i do like someone that has you know some good arms <laughs> biceps <laughs> what kind of arms like big strong arms I think that's what I prefer. Okay. I just said it. <laughs> yeah, so you, when you first meet a guy, you notice if he has like bigger arms. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. They don't even have to be big, but just like tone, muscular, I think that is something I care about. That's definitely, I care about that. I don't know why. Well, you said you work out, don't you? I do. So you care about someone maybe taking care of themselves or putting in a little effort? Yeah, it's more, it's also about the discipline of doing it too. Mm -hmm. Just, you're a disciplined person. If you, consistent and you work out but you don't have to be huge and bulky like, don't right think, don't think that right just more so like taking care of yourself yes I love arms um I love when they're like a man works out and it's like good definition so like if a guy has like on like a uh, what you call it like the muscle shirts <laughs> I love when you like can like see the muscle even like a little arm tattoo I think that's really um nice as well like a nice compliment I love arms. <laughs> so for me, arms, it, it matters, but it doesn't matter. For me as a woman, I want a guy to look like he could protect me. I'm small, I'm 5'3", I'm not jacked. So I would want to feel protected by somebody that I'm out with, but it's not a huge priority if you're crazy ripped or not. All right, and then what about abs? I would say it's, it's yeah, love it. So you prefer abs over a dad bod? I do, I like, I just, I prefer someone that takes care of like themselves. They don't have to have a six pack. I would say, you know, if you're, you know, fit, yeah. Um, I don't care. Okay. I don't care. Yes. <laughs> I love abs, I, I think they're great. Yeah, love them. What do you like about them? They just look good, you know? <laughs> I feel like it shows that you're treating your body well, you, um, are putting good stuff into it you know you work out a little bit so little abs you can't go wrong with it love and are you more of an abs girl or a dad bod girl definitely abs and again it's not even a shallow thing i'm really into fitness and i work really hard and i think that a guy that has abs or a good body um specific specifically abs if we're talking about that. It shows that he cares about his health and his fitness and his well-being and to me that's very attractive. Same thing, abs is, it's a bonus if you have them. It's not a deal breaker if you don't. It just shows that you care to take care of your body and you care what you look like and you make the time for that as a priority. What about feet? I don't think any guy has good feet, so I'm gonna go with it. I mean, I don't really care, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Neutral. Um, definitely you have to have clean toenails. I think it's a probably a, a nicer thing to have. If you have grimy little toenails and, and you need to just get a pedicure, take care of them because once you take your socks off, it's like, oof, that's who you are. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I feel that I like when a man's toenails are clipped and nicely groomed, you know, that looks good and if they actually do like get pedicures I, you know guys sleep on it but it's nice to like see a guy in sandals and their toes look good just saying <gasps> what about them do they stink do you notice if a, do, do you know are feet something that you notice about a guy um yeah i don't think your actual feet matter but i think i do notice shoes i notice what shoes you're wearing and okay. i think that says a lot about guys What's your favorite type of shoe that guys wear? Oh, damn, I don't like, it's those white Air Force ones. <laughs> but they have to be like the high top. Okay. Yeah, like yeah the white, I mean, white sneakers in any yeah, form I are mean, like yeah. shoulders. I don't care. 
Yeah, I, I love a guy with good shoulders. Again, it goes back to just having, like taking care of your body, being into fitness. Don't care, not big of a, an importance to me. Okay. Yeah, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I feel like with arms, maybe the shoulders might be <laughs> there too. Okay. Mm, I like shoulders. I like, I like when they work out a little bit, so it's like, you know, like nice definitions, but not like overly like big and hawky, but like nice, just nice and like worked out a little bit. Um, I don't know if I really care about that. Okay, so maybe middle category. Nice to have, but nothing crazy. Yeah, it would be nice to have, but you don't have to be, yeah. What about their legs? Mm, legs are okay, <laughs> but don't have like chicken legs, you know, like scraggly chicken legs. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I mean, I, I like a guy that, you know, has something on his legs. Um, I don't want to be mean, but, like, I'm not into, like, really, like, scrawny, like, chicken legs kind of kind of situation. I don't care. It's not a deal breaker if, you know, I know, like, there's some really tall guys out there, so sometimes it's hard to, you know, beef them up a little, <laughs> but it's not a deal breaker. I like thick guys. So I like big, thick, I mean, it doesn't even have to be muscle. It could be, you know, it could just be, I don't know, fat or whatever. <laughs> you don't have to be tone or anything, but I prefer thicker men over skinnier guys. Okay, so, so you want a guy who's bigger than you? Yes. Yes. Definitely bigger than me. I That I, that matters to me actually a lot, so. Um, definitely matters a little bit. I don't want popsicle sticks or chicken legs where it looks like you could trip over a ladybug and break your ankle. But definitely just take care of yourself. I mean, if you're a tall, lanky, skinny guy and that's just your physique, that's absolutely fine if it fits together. But if you're super jacked up top and you don't have legs, it just looks a little odd. Okay. Kate, what about their voice? That's very important to me. It's not like a deal breaker by any means, but I'm attracted to like masculine energy. Um, so I like a guy with a more masculine, maybe deeper voice. I would say not a deal breaker. I mean, I do like, you know, more of like a masculine voice, but it's not it's nothing that, you know, I can't get over or okay. work with. Voice is a huge thing for me. Absolutely must be attracted to how you talk because that's a big way that I fall in love with somebody is how they say and what they say to me. So you have to have a, a nice speaking voice. Would you say it's more than just, you know, what their voice sounds like, but maybe the language that they use, how they yeah. describe things or just the extent of their vocabulary. Absolutely, it's it's everything. So the tone of it, the way that they're saying it, and how they're saying it, is their voice. <sighs> it somewhat matters. Okay. So I don't really care, but it would be nice if you didn't have like if you didn't sound like Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely plays like a, a big part. Um, Cause I saw a guy's picture before. I'm like, wow, like. He's very handsome, very attractive. But then I heard his voice, I'm like, it's not what I was expecting. So <laughs> I would definitely say that plays a big role. Do you think uh, their voice can kind of change the way that you are attracted to them or perceive them? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, I feel if their voice is like more light and high pitched, it gives a more feminine vibe versus if it's, um, like a little low and I'm not gonna say low but like a little deeper not like too deep not very low, but you know just a little more manly I do care about the voice okay and why what do you like what do you look for in a voice um if your voice is if you sound feminine I usually don't like that Okay, um, so you like more of a masculine voice? I like deep voices. What about jawline? I go back and forth on this. I think some people are really blessed and I'm jealous of them. They have really nice sharp jawlines. You can't really do anything about it. Like if you're in the gym and you're fit, you might not have a super sharp jawline. I feel like a lot of it's genetic. So, I mean, it's fine. I don't really judge a guy off a jawline. It kind of matters. Okay. Kind of. Just a little. Um, I don't really care. I don't really care about looks, but I would say guys with 
nice jaw lines are usually more attractive. I'm a sucker for a good jaw line. <laughs> but you know, not everybody has it. So I would say in the middle, you know, like I love it, but if it don't have it, it's okay. You're still, you still look good. Very hot, not a must for me, but it's a bonus if you have. It's a bonus, uh, so it's nice. Okay, smile. I mean, I love a good smile. So anyone that's kind of like opening, you know, they're always smiling. I feel like they just have like a good persona. You know, they're warm, they're inviting. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. You can't go wrong with a good smile. Um, a smile a day just makes everybody happier. So I, I love a good smile. Very important. Yeah, I think dental hygiene is probably one of my top two things when I'm when I'm like looking at a guy. So if they take care of their teeth and have a good smile, then I'm probably more into you than I was. Okay. Yes. I, I teeth is the number one thing on my list. Please have good dental hygiene. And what can guys do to make their their smile and teeth more attractive? Um I mean, brush your teeth, and I mean, I do think having straight teeth, like getting, like I got Invisalign, um, I think having straight teeth is, can you can go from being like a five to a 10 by just having straight teeth, I think. Okay, what about whitening at all? Does that matter to you? Um, yeah, yeah, you should have white teeth. Smile is an absolute must. A 10 for me, absolutely. Okay, and then what are some ways you think guys can improve their smiles? Um, just by when and where you, you know, how you do that. If it's a, a conversation that is kind of heavy and you wanna lighten the mood, you know, maybe a nice smile would work. If, if your smile isn't all the way there, I mean, J. Cole has a great song called Crooked Smile where he didn't want to change his appearance based on how other people made him feel and look where he's at now. So that really doesn't matter. It's just all about when you do smile, the energy that you give. That 100% matters to me. That's the first thing I notice about every single person is their teeth and their lips. And I mean, you can have crooked teeth as long as they're brushed and clean and you have nice hydrated lips, like that's fine. What about their hair? Yeah, I think I'm at the age where, you know, you shouldn't just be rolling out of the shower and, and going about your day. I would hope that you would put maybe two minutes into putting a product in it and making it look nice. Um, it depends on the style of the hair. If you have hair that needs to be well kept and, you know, done up, do your hair. Brush it, comb it, whatever. If you have a buzz cut, beautiful, make sure you have a nice hairline. Yes, hair. Hair is a, is a huge factor. You can also go from a five to a 10 with just a haircut. Um, hair is important. Okay. It's not a deal breaker, but it depends. Like if it's well kept, yeah, it's nice. If it's, um, you know, untamed, maybe you need a haircut. I mean, it's not, we've all been there. <laughs> it depends. Um, I notice for myself that I don't look at guys who have blonde hair versus guys who have darker hair. Okay. So I think it matters to me, but I don't, I hate to say that. <laughs> I'm a sucker for hair. <laughs> so having it, you know, um, kept up good and just looking nice and groomed, you can have on like sweats, but if your hair is nice, that just raised the bar. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite hairstyle on a guy? Um, so I definitely love hair. Um, so I like them when like the sides are like shaved a little and it's like a little, maybe like a little style in the front. I always think that's a little cute. Ooh, my favorite hairstyle on a guy would probably be like a mid to length range where you like kind of do your bangs a little bit and have some volume to the top. Okay. I have two and they're like polar opposite. Um, you know, I like a good clean cut that maybe has, I don't like, I don't want to use the word spiky. I'm not good at describing male hair, but like, like styled, maybe um, 
a little bit pushed back, but not like slicked back. I'm bad. Like I, I, I don't know that I can describe this well. I know what you're. I know what you're picturing. Maybe like Teddy's hair. Yeah, like sure. A quiff. A quiff. Yeah, perfect. Something like that. And then if they can pull off, like not long, but just a little bit more grown out. Um, and I don't think a ton of guys can pull that off, but if they can pull it off, I'm really into it. But nine times out of ten, I like a shorter style versus a longer. Okay, what about their butt? <laughs> Um, I'm I'm not too obsessed with that because I don't want their butt looking better than mine. So <laughs> I don't want the competition. <laughs> I don't care about their butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not uh you know looking at the bar checking out guys' butts. I mean it's a bonus. <laughs> he got a nice butt, but <laughs> but but <laughs> no, it's no it, I don't need that. Okay. Um, I don't think it matters. I really don't. But, okay. Um, I kind of like thick guys, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, no. But um, I like some cake. I'm not opposed. It's it's a nice bonus, but you don't have to have one. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if he's got something back there, it's gonna play in his favor. Okay. What about outfit? Yeah. Oh my gosh, especially as I've gotten into my 20s, I think I've always cared about what guys wear, but like in college, whatever, people wear shorts and a t-shirt every day. But once I graduated, um, I started noticing like brand, like not brands more, but just pieces more. Like if you're wearing a t-shirt and shorts every day, I like a guy that puts a little bit more into his look. I would hope that you had, you know, eight to 10 like really nice pieces where you can put together a good outfit if you're going to like a nice dinner or something like that. So I, I care a lot about how they dress. Uh, it depends. Uh, if you look really bad, then I care, but I don't really care about what style you have. Like you can have whatever style you want, I don't care. But if you're like wearing dirty clothes, like old raggedy clothes, um, then that's a no. Okay. Uh, that's like high on the scale. Like, I love a man who can dress well. It's a high turn on, very attractive when you um, know how to dress. I'm, that's a top importance for me. I like a guy with style, I like a guy that dresses nice. Um, kind of just a first look type of guy. For me, I look at his shoes, I see if he has a watch on, and I look at his smile. Those are my, my three main things. I think anyone who's dressed nice, you know, girls are going to flock to them more um, put together. So I would say it's, you know, I've seen people in sweats and, you know, I was going to say cargos, but I've never, no, <laughs> sweatsuit and, you know, gym clothes. It doesn't need to be, you know, top of the line. So maybe just nice. But it, it makes a difference if they, you know, yeah, kind definitely. of put some effort in. Yeah. Okay. It depends what we're doing, I think. I think it depends. Um, I'm gonna dress how I want, no matter what. Yeah. Like, if you wear sweatpants to dinner, I and I wear a dress, like that's on you. Yeah. I'm gonna look good myself. Right. <laughs> I don't know if I care that much. I don't like skinny jeans on guys, on straight guys. I guess. Is that weird to say? Oh no, it makes sense. <laughs> okay. It makes sense. A lot of girls don't like skinny jeans. Yeah. Especially when they're so tight, you can see everything. It's like. Yeah. Leave a little room for imagination. Yeah. Okay, what about their hands? Mm, you know what? What I will say for hands, um, because for that, like, that's in the middle. You know, different men have different jobs. So some might have, like, rough hands or, you know, soft hands, depending on what they do for a living. But just please, like, keep your nails clean. Like, I hate dirty nails. I love it when it's, like, trimmed, manicured good. Yes. I don't care about their hands. I mean, I love a good, uh, you know, hand. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. I mean, it's it's not like a deal breaker. I'm not looking at their hands, inspecting them. I'm like, oh. Um, as long as they're not smaller than mine, like. <laughs> It's fine with me. Uh, well-kept nails. I mean, don't, if you have longer fingernails and there's dirt underneath of them, please clean them. It just is a, a big turnoff for, for women. 
Um, clipped fingernails are a must for me. I don't like guys that have long nails. I think that it's all around just kind of intimidating in every way. I don't know why, but like when you touch me and like I can feel like your like nail, like, and I don't know, I just clip your nails, wash your hands but I don't really care for like calluses and stuff. Like I have calluses in my hands, so that doesn't bug me at all. It depends, I think. So it's just good grooming habits, basically. Yeah. Like trimming your nails, keeping things clean. Yeah. Next one is eyes. Love it. I mean, I love, you know, I feel like you can tell a lot about a person's eyes, which is weird, but if they're like warm, inviting, um, again, I feel like smile and eyes just kind of go a little bit hand in hand, but Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Are you into brown eyes or blue eyes? I love a good blue-eyed boy. You have blue eyes, don't you? Are they green? I have hazel, green? like green, okay. yeah. I also don't care about their eyes. Mm, eyes are the windows to the soul, so love me some good eyes. That's, that's how I'm skill. Eyes are not of a huge importance to me. If you have some beautiful color combinations or just, you know, a really, captive eye, ga eye gaze, it's always a bonus. I don't think the eyes matter. I'm not, I'm not like set in stone on like all dark features. Like they can have blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes, dark brown eyes. Um, yeah, that's not something I care about, but the hair is definitely something. It has to be a dark feature, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I think Smile and eyes are the first two things I notice about somebody. So again, if they have like super blue or super green eyes, I'm gonna probably notice you immediately. What about their scent? <laughs> Very important. Um, you know, when you are around a guy who smells good, it just makes you happier, like in a better mood. Like if I walk past a guy who smells good, that just made my day like 10 times better, you know? <laughs> So, like, smell, that's that's high. That's high up. Which scent? Their natural body scent or their cologne scent? Maybe both. Like, do you notice when a guy, like, can you, do you notice his natural smells versus, like, if he's wearing a fragrance? Or which do you prefer? I, I think I notice natural scents. Like, I mean, like, if I'm, like, close to them. Yeah. Like, obviously, I can't smell you from afar, but, <laughs> but, um... For cologne, I think that I do like to smell a little bit of cologne. I prefer that. I think that um, it kind of sets the tone of everything you're wearing and what you look like. It's like the finisher. And that's the first thing girls are gonna notice, honestly, cause it's gonna hit you first. Um, just don't smell bad. I don't, I don't care about cologne. You can wear cologne or not wear cologne, but do not smell bad. And obviously cologne is a plus, but I have never cared absolutely top of my list for me as well. Um, I think a scent and using pheromones that work with your pheromones is a huge, huge bonus to get women attracted to you, get women talking to you, and just overall making yourself known. I mean, you should always smell good, um, but I would say it's not, uh, maybe it is a deal breaker. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to smell in you. <laughs> Absolutely. And what's your type of your favorite type of scent that a guy wears? I like anything masculine. Um, you know, anything that you know. You, oh gosh, I it's hard to explain. I think masculine is the best word, so I'm just gonna end it there. Okay. And since you've been featured on the fragrance channel, you're basically a fragrance expert at this point. <laughs> what is your favorite fragrance for a guy to wear? It doesn't have to be necessarily the brand, unless you can think of one. But okay. more so, like the style of fragrance that you're into. So for myself as a guy, I'm into a very sort of like sandalwood drift outdoorsy, not so much of a musk smell, but just like a, a masculine sort of deep woods aroma. Okay. So this one guy I know in particular, he wears um, this Prada scent. I think it's a silver bottle with um, red on it and it smells so good on him. So good. So I love, um, mm, I can't, I don't know how to like put it into words, but either like a nice clean scent or kind of like that autumn, 
Um, you know, like you're walking in a fancy casino smell. So maybe a little sweeter? Yeah, like for a little sweet, but like not too sweet. Like that, that balance. So my best friend, he wears this Prada. It's like Prada cologne. He Is got it in a car. black bottle? Yes. Is it Prada Luna Rosa Black? <gasps> I think. I think. That's so <laughs> funny. I love that one and I always recommend it to guys because women love it. It's just a very sexy fragrance. It's clean. It's not too like chemically, mm-hmm. doesn't smell alcoholic-ish. And he put like two squirts on in my car and my whole car was like, it was banging. I was mm-hmm. like, wow. Yeah, that stuff smells good. So you notice scent. Yes, It's I do. important, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a like a masculine like woodsy, and I'm saying this like I could be totally wrong and someone's like no you don't like that. <laughs> I think just like any scent is like good. I feel like masculine like super masculine for me. And posture. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes a guy that slouches. So I mean it, it's important, but it's not like a deal breaker. Um, posture for me is a little bit more of an importance just because. You think about, I mean, most people don't think about how they're sitting, but if a guy does try to focus on his posture and make sure that he's sitting up correct and and looking presentable, it shows that he has, you know, some sense of responsibility to his appearance. Okay. Yeah, that matters. It matters a lot. I notice um, people on their phones when they walk. Um, I'm a local Clevelander, so I walk around Cleveland all the time, and I'm not so much on my phone because you need to be aware. And maybe men don't need that because it's just different, but I do notice like when you're hunched over on your phone, I don't necessarily like, yeah. I don't know. It's good. I mean, it's it's a plus if they're, you know, holding themselves high, but you know, it's not a deal breaker for me. Okay. If you're kind of. Posture is important because if you have on like the best outfit, you know, good cologne, beautiful eyes, but your posture is like, bad and slumpy you know it bring it brings down your attraction so when when you're like posture is good I feel like it just makes you look better like like you're more secure confident in yourself and who you are so posture is it's big that's high okay yes have good posture if you have terrible posture I I can't I don't like that what does it signal when a guy has bad posture? Like, what is good posture versus bad posture? Like, how does that make a guy come across to you? If you have bad posture, you just seem, like, lazy, unprofessional, not confident. Like, why Why are you slouching? It's so, just, it's so easy to have good posture. Um, a guy with good posture, like, they look more confident and and... Yeah, they just look more confident and put together, and they, you look more fit with just having good posture. And then out of all of these, I know that was a lot, but yeah. is there one thing that stands out to you as like the number one most important thing? And then you can talk about maybe your like the first couple of things you notice. Okay, um, so for me, I think maybe the first importance to me is style, just because it is your way to represent yourself to the world. Um, it's first glance, it's what people see, unfortunately, you know, first and foremost. So if you are a person that's looking to get out there into the world, I think stepping into finding your own style is a huge way, one, to boost your confidence, and two, get people looking at you and, and seeing, you know, what you could potentially do for them and, and have it to value as a person. Um, other things that matter is well-kept, mannered guy, you know, your toenails, your fingernails, make sure your hair isn't all a mess, get a haircut if you need one, trim up your facial hair. Um, Really, yeah, those are just the biggest things, just looking like a well-kept, mannered gentleman. So basically what you're saying is like, not necessarily what they were born with or things they can change, but more so what they do with it. Absolutely. Like using the cards you've been given and you know, working with what you've got a little bit. Absolutely, and for me that's the biggest thing because you know, somebody may not look the nicest on the outside, but on the inside, they may treat you nicer than anybody that's a 10. And for me, that's the biggest thing that I look for. Your teeth. Teeth, lips, and hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, smile and teeth, for sure. Okay. The first thing I notice is their face, I guess. Um... Um, I like, this wasn't on the list, but I like, like, if you can tell that a guy's fit by their, like, neck, 
if their neck is like strong. So if I'm on a dating app and I like see just their face and I see that they've got like a strong neck, I can tell that they're probably fit. Um, so that's nice. They're not always smiling, but I mean, if I meet you in person, the first thing I notice is teeth. That's like a, for some reason, I don't know why, but it's a big thing for me. I would say smile. Okay. So any tips for guys on their smile? I would just say, you know, if you're happy, you know, show it. <laughs> you know, I love like, a, just like a smiley, like goofy guy, um, you know, that's, you know, there to have fun and, and kind of be the life of the party, you know? I don't know, if you're not like that, then obviously just, you know, still smile and like let a girl know that you're interested in her. Mm -hmm. but. I think it can often make a girl feel more comfortable too when you're smiling and you're a little bit mo more warm and inviting. Yeah, if you're if you're smiling and having fun and she's gonna be like, wow, this guy, you know, I wanna talk to him, you know, what? why is he so happy? <laughs> Number one thing, <laughs> can it be a tie? <laughs> you can pick a few if you want okay. to. So I would definitely say uh, smile, um, because if a, if a man has a nice smile, I feel that goes like a long way versus talking to somebody who like looks grumpy, you know? So like the smile or like the, like the nice smirk, seductive like look, I think that's nice. And definitely scent. Smelling good, so important. But don't go too strong. We don't like too strong. Just like nice and light is good. For when you go in for the hug, you smell the nice. Yeah, you liked. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you like this style of video, you want me to bring girls on more often, please let me know down in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.